Britain started to launch a large-scale evacuation of its citizens from Sudan on April 25th, joining other nations racing to get their people out of the North African country after its warring factions agreed to a 72-hour ceasefire. Britain said military flights would depart from an airfield outside Khartoum and would be open to those with British passports. Priority will be given to family groups with children, the elderly and individuals with medical conditions. The Ministry of Defense released video and pictures showing a plane taking off from a base in Cyprus in the eastern Mediterranean. Foreign Secretary James cleverly said the government had started contacting nationals directly and providing routes for departure but would not be able to provide escorts to the airport. On Monday, the government estimated around 4,000 British nationals were in Sudan and said there was a British military team in the east of the country doing reconnaissance on possible evacuation options.